Good morning campers. I have just finished putting this visqueen, well it's, it's actually a vapour barrier. You may remember I installed it under my floors and around my walls. If you haven't seen that, check it out up here. But I had a, a whole roll of the stuff left and it's really useful as a um, well protective barrier for pretty much everything and also it's great as a slip and slide for kids and grown-ups alike so I've put it in here and I've stuck it underneath the boards to pin it in place hold it down and also add some protection to the world's most brittle tiles uh, so that when they are rendering if stuff falls down it lands on the boards it lands on this but it won't damage the tires but because we are about to start rendering this back area now it means that I can finally remove the tarpaulin that has been protecting our the inside of our house from getting soaking wet which is a real comfort and relief because it is now the 29th of September and it is starting to rain a lot more now you can see we're getting a lot more a lot more rain coming through so there's the visqueen goes all the way down here a big overlap here it also protects the dry ridge which won't be dry if it gets completely soaked so that is pretty much it we're going to be building out this layer here and this one here so they'll be all completely flat and we will be leveling it out a little bit as well with more of those polystyrene boards that we did the front with so yeah it's um it's all going well we are we are getting there slowly but surely all right so we're back after lunch and we've got the base coat you can just see the the shadow of the mesh gets pushed in that's right mate Very nice. So it's the next day, right? And we are now, this is the second base coat that we've put on, yeah? That's it. Oh, mate, look, you can tell it's smooth because the camera can't focus on it. Not enough contrast. That's right. Look at that. To be honest, mate, if that was the finished colour, that wouldn't even look too bad, would it? No. It's a really, really pale grey now. Yeah. What we do is now we do a light rasp. You rasp over it? Just a light rasp on yep. the top to get all the defects out. Yeah. And then we prime it and then we'll go straight back over. Very nice. And that's the one that you freehanded, I'm guessing. That's freehanded. Yeah, yeah. And then that's just the first, first base. Yeah, yeah. There's still more to go on. Very nice. Little clean up. No, that's looking really, really nice, isn't it? That's really smooth. Oh, mate, it's coming up. It's coming up really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, coming up in the video, I'm going to show you a bit more of the process so you can see the stages of what the outcome is. And then if you hang around a bit later on in the video, I'll show you how you achieve this. We're going to be filming Albert actually doing it. And uh, you'll see, see what it looks like as they do it. Right, it's been a couple of days since I've been able to get out here. And Albert and Connor have done a great job. Got the angle beads on the corners here. Blended that round. You can see it's quite wet because we've had a ton of rain and wind. It's actually blown out the monoflex. So I'm going to have to re... Uh, reattach this because it has completely uh well, it's blown a gale basically but things are things are pressing on they're going really well 
and it's quite important at this base coat stage to get as get it as kind of flat and smooth as you can so this is really really very nice and smooth you can see where the edge of the trowel is but it does it's not raised that's just where it's dried a bit quicker so it's really nice and smooth what's the thickness on this base coat you say about three mil four mil so at the moment it's probably about five mil. Five, five mil. Six mil yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll go. I've still got another one to go over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need me to get the um, spanner to loosen this to yes, move? Please, move. Yeah, we've got to move that off, haven't we? I think I've got some indoors. I don't know where it is. No, that's all right. So yeah, it's going really well. Got these reveals oh, down here oh, as well. Yeah. Yes, please, yeah. So it's coming up really nicely, but we're constantly battling the weather. I mean, it has been raining so much recently, loads and loads of rain. And it's actually just starting up again, raining now. So it's a bit, it's a constant battle, but it is coming on well. They're doing a really lovely job working together to blend it across this bit. So obviously this is the, the main wall that you see really as you're driving down the road. So this is going to be completely flat and smooth. You see here where we've got the step between this level and that level. We're going to have a bell cast here and we're going to have a bell cast down there as well. Just to help kind of keep it off this. And then I can redo the gutters properly in order to uh, make sure everything's cinched up. Okay, this one was too close to the building so I've moved it away. But you can see the thickness there of, the, uh, of this base coat really nice and thick so we'll put another splodge in there and smooth that round get some more mesh in that but yes that's the that's the thickness and the depth of this the whole way along right so you've almost finished doing a full coat on this side yeah and what were you saying about the way that you do it the way we, that you go about it to go up and down to get all the hollows going up and down yeah so if, if the balls are uh, shaped that way we tend to go up and down and bring it away down when it dries out we'll come across the other way so then we'll interesting we'll start, we'll start it off the so you almost way. get the kind of a lamination one bit going that, that way, way one bit going that way, way. So you and you do you find that bonds better as the base coat um yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. interesting and then the and then the top coat over the top of that what yeah. do you do with that we basically got primer over the top of that and then yeah. we'll um we'll, we'll apply it by hand yeah and we just rub it back it's right just, um, just goes on really tight and ah so the base coat you go one way and then the top coat you go top, the other yeah no we, there's two there's two base coats so basically you okay, put one fine. on to find all your hollows yeah put your mesh in you embed your mesh yeah then after that we go across the top yeah uh with that's so going the other way so yep. then it, it, it gets out the hollows that way so yep. if, if you ain't caught them that way you can catch them the other way see and do you do a second layer of mesh with that or are you just you no, just no, a no, second just one, yeah, just yep, one, yep, one fine and that's it and then what we'll do is we'll uh wait for that to dry prime it and then we'll yep. go straight back over with the silicon top coat nice okay so, so there's one, it's, two, in effect, it's three coats. Three, four, five. So, but there are six layers effectively. Um, your acrylic primer, two base coats, your yeah, mesh. They, they don't really serve the acrylic primer is more for adhesion. It's not really. Right, okay. It's not really a, um, a layer. Uh, yeah, so much. It's not a layer so it's Fine. Okay. So it's really, I mean, in the, in in sense, it's like three coats. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'll let you get on. Anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do, Connor. They'll uh, they'll there'll be someone who slates it on. Uh, Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. There's always one. Isn't there's, there? oh, mate, there's more than one. <laughs> Plus, would love love going at it on the on, oh, on YouTube. Yeah. Well, I've been doing it 20 years. yeah, that's right. Yeah, 20, 20 years isn't enough, mate. There'll be someone who's done it 21 years and they go, oh, <laughs>
Yeah. So you've overlapped that mesh, the new one with the yeah, old with one. The old one, yeah. What's that? A hundred mil, something like that. Seventy mil. Seventy. Yeah. Yeah. There's a from. So people will go so they want eighty or ninety. Yeah. Seventy is enough. Yeah. And so does the mesh just help hold it in when so because it expands it, it it's flexible it's flexible it's, it's, it's basically it's just your, your anti-cracking system really that right. wants to move yeah um it, it, it's, a, it's a fiber mesh so i take i mean it's, it's hard to break yeah about top out this one right um yeah it's very hard to break and um, it's, really, it's designed to stand the test of time so yeah yeah. Um, especially with silicon, you've got silicon over the top. Silicon is a, it's a, it's a plastic based render, so yeah. in, a, in a sense. You know, that was a move with it, so it should never crack. Well, yeah. It won't crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus sand and cement that doesn't have any mesh in it, and then yeah. the concrete in that can expand yeah. or contract and but, crack and I all mean, the rest of it. Over the space of time, when you look at some of the houses around, around here, I mean, look, most of them all cracked. Yeah. That's all sand and cement, they've all had EML put through them. Yeah. So over the space of time, they have cracked. Yeah. Um, so it don't really, it's not really staying in the te test of time. Whereas, yeah. whereas this will. Yeah, yeah. One day renders are so much different, they're in a different class. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, I'm on the tools. Oh, the tools I'm on the yeah, tools, yeah. mate. <laughs> so do you feather into this edge so that when you then build it up again, to overlap the mesh, you end up. You, so, yeah. that, so that edge is feathered, yeah, and then you, yeah, when you yeah, overlap, yeah. you don't end up with it yeah, too yeah, thick. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Well, I mean, all these lines, obviously, that's where it's not quite quite level. Yeah. So what we do is we come back and we scrape all the lines out. Right. And then we'll come straight back over again with another. With coat. that another coat of base. Yeah. Nice. And that'll get it nice and uh, nice and flat. Yeah. 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 And um, you should. Oh. You're worth your salt, you shouldn't see anything. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. As good as me, Tom. Yeah. You know, take ball trades. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you can see the colour change between here and here, but up here, this is so this is the acrylic primer, this right? This is the primer, yeah. This all goes in between the the, um, the two coats between the finished base coat and the article, yeah. And then onto uh, the silicon finish, which goes, goes over the top. But in between, you have to have a DC, right? Um, to, to, to give it more, give it more stick and grab. Yeah. So we've done two coats of base on this. I say we. Yeah. You've done two yeah. coats of base. Two coats. You got the mesh in between, then you've put yeah. this acrylic primer over the top, yeah. and so now this is ready to have the, the top silicon, coat silicon over, silicon over the top. But we haven't done any here because it's quite wet. We've had a whole load of rain, as we mentioned just a minute ago. So this is still damp, actually, to the touch. So once that's dried out, you can then run the acrylic over yeah, that, right, and then you're then you're good to go. Good to go yeah. Fine. Nice. So you can run across here, I'm guessing, at the front, because this bit's, yeah, this yeah, bit's dried gonna, out, isn't it? We're gonna put a sheet down in a second. Yeah. Yeah, 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 nice. Once this goes on, it don't, it's hard to get off. It's hard to get off, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Nice. It's pretty much good to go now, really. Yeah, yeah the side's pretty much done now. As well. Side's all but done, yeah. Let's hop down there and have a look. 
sorry about the wind. There's not a, not a lot I can do about that. Put a, put a new bead. Yeah, very nice. Uh, stop across the top. Great. Um, this is pretty much dried out now, this section. So it's going to have another one uh, come Monday. So this is the top base coat? This is the first base coat. First base. Yeah. Right. I'm going to stand back and film it because it's so flat, yeah. it can't focus on it. Yeah. So do you scratch this down in between? Yeah, if you look closer, you can see there's, there's see these lines, the trail marks. Yeah, right? yeah. And what we're doing is basically take the heads off. Right, oh, you just, you just scrape the head off it? Scrape okay. The head off it like that, yeah, because you can't get a, where, where the balls are a bit, you know, like yeah. a bit weathered. Yeah. I mean, over time they will they will sort of chuck out of shape a bit. Yeah. Um. So you, obviously, like a square brick won't go into a round hole. Yeah. Yeah. So um. Yeah. And then what we do is we come back over again. We tie that one. Nice. I and, see. Uh, that's, that's the next one's one gets really flat. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're pretty much done. We're just going way down to the other end. So we've got the first base, first base coat the whole way down. Yeah. All the way down there. Oh yeah. yeah. You look. You can see the colour difference here between there and there where that was done today yeah. so oh, okay fine so once this dries you then knock that say knock yeah, that the head off, off that yeah, you yeah. pop that off yeah. so then it comes a bit smoother you put your hand over there now you won't be able to really see it yeah yeah, yeah you can't feel that at all yeah so. versus here where there's a bit more of a bump yeah, you've got to yeah. pop that yeah got it got it and we give it a good scrape and then we'll come back over again with another coat another base and that's the one that's the that's the finished article then. yeah um yeah so that bead there will kind of project out a bit give yeah. it a bit of that's almost it, like yeah. the bell bell yeah. stop well, we come down to it anyway because it's only a six mil bead, so yeah, we could pretty much we put that off. We, we would have gave that a coat, so we put it on after, so it can come, yeah. come out of it. Come out of it's it, already, yeah, it's got already, it. It's already away from the wall anyway. Yeah, so. that's it. Yeah, so. yeah, just a little bit extra. Yeah. Very nice. And, um, Great, yeah, coming together good. nicely. Yeah. So the weather has been really up against us. It's been very, very strong rain and wind the last couple of days. So we are now using a sprayer and a hopper to try and uh, speed things up a little bit. So how are you finding, how are you finding the sprayer? It's, it's, a, it's a lot easier. A lot quicker, right? It's a lot quicker, but it seems to be a bit, I'm, well, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it with a trowel. I'm not really sure if I'm getting it. Yeah. You know, packed enough. But it's, and it's, it's, it's flat enough. It sprays, it splatters a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. So you then yeah. you just scrape that back, scrape back yeah. and all the rest of it. Yeah, it. But so you managed to do that whole area up there in what 15 minutes? 15 minutes yeah. yeah, I mean that would have taken you best part of 40 minutes an hour. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a lot easier, but it's um. It's, you got to spend time dialing it in as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit tougher, but we'll we'll get there. It's just um, yeah. So it's good for the base, but not it's for the finish. Great, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's great for a base, but the finish is it's, it's a different finish altogether. Yeah. It'd be more stippled than um than flat. So, so uh, we tend to put it on and then we, we'll, we'll grab it up afloat float and bring it back. Yeah. Uh, and it's a lovely finish, a better finish, flatter finish. Uh, Fair uh, enough. Yeah, like I said, once that's, once that's dried, we'll give it a bit of a spray back and that's, that's, that's flat. It's always sprayed flat, so it should nice. be good. Oh, nice, okay. A really nice smooth yeah. matte finish there like that where he's troweled it down after 
I see what you mean about it being a lot more of a stipply finish. Yeah. It's got a lot more texture to it, hasn't it? Yeah, we, um, it out. yeah, yeah obviously you trial it, trial it over, but it's just interesting to note how how different that is there from the spray gun versus that there versus that there from the trowel. Yeah, you can see it's a little thin still, isn't it? Yeah. Goes on nice and quickly, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll that corner out a little bit. I'm a bit short. <laughs> oh, I'm a little touch short. Do you have a longer trail? No. Um, yeah, I haven't. Had it, It is the next morning. The weather has dramatically improved. Morning, Albert. Yeah. Weather's better, isn't it? Yeah. Much nicer. Just take the snots from underneath here. Oh, the snots, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is base coat number two, right? Number two, yeah. And then we just got the top the base coats to do off on that other yeah. side. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so we're taping up again now, right? So we've done two base coats. This is due to be primed, right? I'm guessing same as this. Yeah, 
So two two base coats done, bit of priming, and then you're getting ready for top coat. Top coat tomorrow. Top coat tomorrow. Yeah. Perfect. So you've got another man on the job. Another man on the job. And we'll zip through it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Big big cable in tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. That was the scaffold. That's because I'm standing on it here. So we have primed. You've primed everything now, right? That's looking really nice. So all this stuff. Quality. And this, uh, this acrylic primer, Albert, does this yeah. help the stuff to stick on or... Yeah. Right, is there... Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. It's, if you feel it, it's got like a quartz in it. Oh, wow, yeah. So, God, that's really, really nice, grippy yeah. and rough. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just like PVA yeah, or something. It's, uh, it's a fine that is really bizarre. That yeah. texture is so odd. Uh, oh, you can see it, it even leaves little, small little yeah. grains on your hand. Um, is that what makes it dry so quickly as well? Because yeah. it's not tacky it's at all. Fine, it's just yeah. so grippy. Yeah. And, um, it, just, it, just, it just gives it a lot more key. Bind, yeah, yeah of course. So hold, so, um, oh, that's great. Big old area. Yeah, no, it is. It is. Did you get through the two tubs? Two tubs gone, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, we've still got another tub left. Right, okay. Still got about three what about you haven't done around the back, I guess? Have you? No. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah.